Hi, it's Chris at Lab Punch Forge. So, how has everybody been? Good, good, I'm glad to hear that. So, what we got going on today is uh, a couple cool things. We're going to, the last video we discussed on how to make uh, little flowers like this, little itty bitty guys by layering and soldering and all that. The next video we're doing, this one, is going to talk about a little bit different technique for making flowers. I did a video on it before, a um, long time ago, about wrapping bezel wire and, and uh, how to go about it that way. So we're going to redo that video. And when we do, this, uh, this is going to be a throwdown, a little challenge. Um, and it's not just to who I'm challenging. So uh, I'll, well, let's go over that. So Barbara with Stardust Mine in the United Kingdom and I have decided to do a little team up. And in doing so, we're going, we've are going. we challenged each other to make a metal corsage. And so we've started the hashtag metal corsage challenge and uh, also probably start doing uh, a stardust lion punch challenge we'll see how this one goes and see how people uh, go with it but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take this technique and the other technique and any other technique and make a metal corsage so essentially a flowered bracelet that looks kind of like you'd get when you went to homecoming or prom or junior prom or winter dance or name whatever dance you want. So what we're going to do is throw that challenge down. Her and I've already talked and uh, we're going to do our best to make a flower metal corsage leaves and all that kind of fun stuff. And we're gonna throw that challenge out to you guys as well. So what we'd like you to do is maybe, I don't know, let's set a month, a month from when this video goes live. So I don't know when that is because I haven't uploaded it yet. I'm recording it right now. So a month after this goes live, well, we'll give you an exact date for sure. Uh, send us your pictures. Send us the pictures of, of exactly uh, what you've made and we'll, uh, we'll display your guys' pictures on our YouTube channels. Uh, I think that'll be a lot of fun, and uh, it, it will let you guys get to know us a little bit better, and uh, we get to know you guys. Sometimes um, I learn the most from people that uh, I haven't met yet, and I still have a lot to learn. So, yeah, I could appreciate the help. So essentially, we'll get started. Um, a lot of these techniques can be used on rings. I'll try and get a close-up of this guy here. Oh, this technique can be used on rings. This one's a little beautiful little guy. This one is a signed piece. It's a southwestern design. This one doesn't have that technique on it, but the same technique could be used for doing rings such as that. Now to recap, the flowers that we did last time, kind of like this. This guy, and this guy, and this guy. So this technique is going to be a little bit different. It's nice out today. Good day for a challenge. See you soon. Hey everyone, welcome to the shop. <laughs> Here we are. I got... Uh, some people may ask about the blue tape. The blue tape is here for contrast. Sometimes the anvil gets a little bit bright and reflects a little bit too much light. 
and it's hard to see. So we're gonna talk about the tools we're gonna to use to make these flowers real quick. Uh, first one is some snippers. Doesn't matter what kind. Flush cutters work fine, these work fine. Doesn't really matter. So snippers, some round nose pliers. These are cheap ones that I think I found at the Goodwill in a trash bin. So they should be polished up. These ones are fine. What we're doing right now is not something that these need to be polished up for. Um, what I'm looking for is that really, really small diameter right there. So some of the round nose pliers have a larger diameter. I try and find the smallest one I possibly can for this technique. So I've got a round nose. I have a brass mallet, any other mallet or hammer of sorts that should work. Um, I'm gonna be using this for the dapping punch. And this one is a 23, but I think what I'm gonna do is grab a little smaller one too. Um, let's grab a, an 11, 11 mil. So those two, doesn't really matter the size, you can do whatever you want, I'm not the boss of you. So they, yeah, there's that. Um, a ruler, this one happens to be a little tiny Dunlap that has my grandfather's name on it. So doesn't matter what kind. And then uh, you got your uh, bezel wire. Um, some people are gonna say, what size do you need? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's scalloped, it doesn't matter if it's pointy or whatever. But for those of you who wanna know, this stuff is approximately point three four thick and approximately eh, three point one seven high so you yeah, I've used smaller I've used bigger I've used not fine silver I've used copper this technique works whatever so we're gonna go ahead and get this set up and we'll go over the technique okay we're back the other part of the blue tape is that sometimes when you like to dap this It'll uh, shoot at at you because you're just dapping the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this blue tape and I'm going to tape a portion of the uh, strip that I'm using down to the anvil. So these work really, really well for about one inch of material. So it doesn't matter whether or not it's a little bit over, a little bit under. We're doing about one inch material for this technique. So I'm going to get this. And I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna like, eh, right there. I like that. Yep. Okay. Now that I have this little piece, that's gonna become my flower. And I'm going to just tape him ever so slightly down to the end. We'll make sure that you guys can see that. Here. This little guy right here. What I'm gonna do now is take my dapping punches and I'm gonna go right along this edge. So I'm gonna just dap, 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 dap. It makes that noise too when you do it if you listen really carefully. So what I'm gonna do is try and keep my hands out of the way so you guys can see what's happening. See that scallop that formed? If I can zoom in on that. That scallop right there just formed from the dapping punch. Do it again. Not big enough. Move over. Try and fill in the blanks a little bit. Sometimes it will split out, and that's okay because we're going to be twisting this. And if they're not all uniform, that is also okay. And my tape came up. We're going to go ahead and just slightly put him back down again and keep on going. That looks all right so there's our dapped strip just like that so I see a couple areas I want to improve so I'll just go ahead and do that I'm not hitting this hard it is fine silver so it's gonna move pretty easily on um, these ones close to the edge though I'm gonna use that smaller punch and I'm gonna just kind of fill in the blanks a little bit and there's some of these areas in between that there we go. I'm 
not hitting hard. So now that I have that, I'm gonna zoom out here. I'm going to just kind of scallop those over a little bit. And what this is doing is just setting me up later on for forming. So I'm just bending those over. Doesn't have to be perfect. So now these little guys here, I want this small portion to be at the bottom of my first twist. And what that's going to do is allow the bottom part of the flower to have a tighter twist to it. So now I'm just gonna twist that over and then try and tighten that twist up. So that first one, I can just kind of push it in. Like that. Grab, and then I'm just going to use my fingers to push that around and start forming those little round twists, which is gonna make the flower. I'm gonna also move my pliers to the other side so I can not bend over that portion I already bent over. There's a little bit of tape still on this, that's okay, it'll burn off during annealing or soldering or whatever we're gonna do with it. And then at the end, I like to give it a little angle. that down yeah there we go now we have a tiny little flower and I'm going to go and solder this real quick I'm just gonna use some hard solder I'm going to take this and just solder that steam all together so it kind of when I'm start to push this out it doesn't uh, doesn't deform as much as uh, I needed to. We are soldered and that's what we have right there. That little guy. Now I'm gonna do this on camera just so you can see whether or not it screws up or not. I'm gonna stick a small dapping punch right in the middle. I move around so you can see it. Just gonna push it out a little bit. All right, so that didn't, uh, didn't turn out too bad. I'm just gonna just tap the top a little bit, and then what I'm gonna do is, oh, what tool should we use? Well, just a little knife. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking and just spreading those petals out a little bit. And I'll stick it in and I'll twist. Not trying to be absolutely perfect. That's the fun part of this. So you don't have to be perfect. Now we have a little tiny flower. So to finish that, I'm going to go ahead and grab a piece of silver sheet. Just any old piece of sheet. I like to look in my scrap bin for it so I can find a little guy. So that's what I'm gonna end up using. It's just that little piece here. And I'm gonna put my flower out of the way so it's safe. I'm gonna grab a disc cutter. And I'm gonna grab a 5 16 punch. I'll align this where I want it. Do it. 
That's not five sixteenths. What the heck? That is. All right, now I'm gonna grab my brass mallet. Let's just use a little one I was using. If I can find where it put it. I put it out of the way so I wouldn't lose it. And then I lost it. So, let's make sure we have some lubrication on that. Find my lube. And then just give it a whack. There's my disc. Set this away for later. Put your tools away. Don't leave them laying around like I do. I'm gonna grab a dapping block. Find a suitable size hole. That one looks good. Probably go smaller, but we will in a second. just in case I lost it and I'm gonna throw it right in the center of that dome and then I can solder and now I have a in view flower that I can add to another component or an earring or something like that so that is the technique Pretty easy, not a whole lot going on with it. Just a little bit of twisting, a little bit of all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, so I would like to go ahead and redo my camera here and then we'll tell you a little bit more about that challenge. <sighs> all right, so challenge. Challenge is we're going to do a one month from the time this video goes live and I'll give that exact time in the uh, little reader in the in the bottom here to make a metal corsage <coughs> excuse me <coughs> there it goes metal corsage so on Instagram and YouTube we're going to use a couple hashtags first one is hashtag metal M E T A L corsage C O R S A G E Challenge, C-H-A-L-L-E-N-G-E, -L -L -E -E, and I'll put this in the video. Hashtag Metal Corsage Challenge. So essentially, we're going to be making a flowered bracelet. Now, we're also going to start the Stardust Lion Punch Challenge hashtag. So hashtag Stardust, S-T-A-R-D-U-S-T, Lion Punch, L-I-O-N-P-U-N-C-H, Challenge, C-H-A-L-L-N-G-E. I'll put this all on the bottom for you who can't keep up like I probably would be writing with a pencil right now don't worry about that I'm gonna put it all in the video um, so we're going to issue a challenge one month from now go ahead and send us your interest I gotta get that my camera here there we go one month from now send us your entries to the emails listed and we will do a compilation video on all of your metal corsages for the metal corsage challenge now if this goes over well we'll continue this we'll keep on doing challenges and techniques and sharing tools and uh, trying to be a little bit more interactive with all the folks that are watching our videos and uh, wanting to learn more about metal smithing so if you haven't already check out Stardust Mind on Instagram on YouTube and I think she's got a Facebook and yes also on Facebook so amazing work I've followed her stuff for a very long time if you don't already follow her please follow her because she's amazing um, if this goes over well we'll pull in some other artists maybe and uh, have a good old time with uh, sharing everyone's work and being proactive for the community because honestly I got into this as a stress relief and now it's part of uh, part of income so, you know, we all have our different reasons for getting involved in it, and we all have our challenges, and we want to make sure that we are there for everyone else who may have also had challenges 
and use this as an outlet. So, if you haven't already, like I said before, subscribe down in the, um, it's somewhere down here with the red subscribe button. And then uh, check us out and we'll keep you guys posted on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, and tell you a little bit more details in depth, in writing, right in front of your face that you can look at and you don't have to listen to me talk and read it over and over in my head. So that's it. Hope you enjoy the flowers. Please post comments. Uh, send me pictures of the flowers that you're making and let's get this metal corsage challenge going. See you soon.